Hey guys, what's up? TTM Mike coming at you with some mailbox goodness. So I received a couple of TTMs through the mail autographs. I received one fan pack and a couple of eBay pickups. So let's just start off with the fan pack. Received the fan pack from the St. Louis Cardinals. So they sent me these two cards, Miles Mikolas or Mikolas, Miles Mikolas and Paul DeJong. And they sent me this very cool St. Louis Cardinals postcard. It's like a 5x8. So yeah, that's it. No stickers, no schedule, no nothing. Just uh, two cards and a postcard. Back of the postcard says, uh, Dear Cardinals fan, thank you for reaching out to the St. Louis Cardinals. On behalf of the entire organization, we thank you for your, we thank you for your loyal support, your devotion to our team. We are fortunate to have such great fans who support us every year. I hope you enjoy the enclosed items, and we look forward to seeing you at Bush Stadium soon. Sincerely, William O. DeWitt, President. So thank you to the St. Louis Cardinals. At least they sent something. They reached, they, uh, I reached out to them, and they hooked me up with a little something. So thank you to the St. Louis Cardinals. And now let's get to some of my eBay pickups. I picked this up on eBay. This is former... World Series manager, he was the manager when they won the 1983 World Series Championship. And that was Joe Altabelli. So I picked this Joe Altabelli up. And I got a couple more pickups here off of eBay. Picked up this uh, Jeff Francoeur. I'm a Mets fan. If you weren't aware, if you didn't know, that's my team, the Mets. So I picked up this Jeff McNeil card. Very cool. Picked up this Robin Ventura, uh, Topps Archives fan favorites autographs. You could barely see it, but it's right there. Robin Ventura. Picked up this Ron Darling, another Topps fan favorites autographs. Very cool. That's a beautiful autograph. Picked up this Jerry Grody, another Topps. Fan favorites, autographs. The great Jerry Grody. He handled a great pitching staff. Nolan Ryan, Tom Seaver, Jerry Kuzman, Jim McAndrew. A whole bunch of great Mets pitchers. Picked up the dude. They used to call him the bad dude. He recently passed away last year. Like uh, Last appearance he made was at the Mets old-timers game. In August, and I think like two weeks later, he passed away. That's Mr. John Stearns. He used to be a catcher for the Mets. They used to call him Duke. They also, they also used to call him the Bad Dude. So that's another Topps Archives fan favorite autograph. Rest in peace, Mr. John Stearns. He was a great catcher. Then I picked up this Mets prospect, Christian Scott. And I made some other pickups off of eBay. Picked up this Topps Living Set. Nolan Ryan trying to put together all of the Hall of Famers and my favorite Mets. Picked up this Kodai Senga 2023 Top Living Set. Picked up this Ron Santos Hall of Famer. Uh, picked up this uh, um, Tops 582 Montgomery card here of uh, Aaron Judge. Picked up two cards from a Hall of Famer. This ABC Monday Night Football. This is from Action Pack. When Action Pack used to put out football cards. So two cards. This is a cool looking card, man. ABC's Monday Night Football Hall of Famer Rod Woodson. And there's another one. So I picked up two of them. And I picked up upcoming superstar. He'll be a superstar. He's supposed to be. He's one of the best players, they say, coming out. The Miners. Uh, Connor Bedard and this card this was given away at the uh, National so it's Connor Bedard Connor Bedazzles card and this was a promotion by um, Steel City Collectibles so a nice little card of upcoming rookie Connor Bedard and I picked up the captain one of my favorite Mets, Dave Wright. Unfortunately, just like Don Manley, he suffered an injury, which uh, probably uh, won't get him into the Hall of Fame because of that injury. He suffered a neck injury. But he was a, a hell of a player, a hell of a Met, Met captain, David Wright. 
So all, all in all, th these cards go for about nine ninety nine when they first come out on Tops dot com. And then to get them graded, I think it's like twenty dollars per card to get them graded. So I ended up paying nineteen and change for this card off of eBay. So it's a mint nine, but still a great looking card. The Captain David Wright. Then uh, I send this out through the mail. This was uh, I paid their fee. So his fee for a flat item like this. It's thirty dollars, and for eight by ten, is uh, forty dollars. So I ended up paying seventy dollars for Hall of Famer Alan Page. His autograph is getting very, very shaky. So uh, I do suggest if you want Alan Page, you uh, do some Google research. And um, he used to be a judge after his NFL playing career was over. He played for the Vikings and for the Bears. And then after that, he went back to school, got his degree, his law degree, and eventually became a judge, I believe, in Minnesota. So I got him on this goal line art card, and I got, the, got him on this Vikings 8x10 right there, Alan Page, right on top of Paul Krause. So I'll probably send this out again to another Hall of Famer someday. Uh, don't know who, but glad to add... Mr. Alan Page Hall of Famer to my Vikings photo and glad to add him to my goal line art card collection. Also, uh, if you follow my videos, you remember that uh, I sent out to Randy Gratishaw. I paid his, his fee, which I believed at the time was $20, but that was only for like football cards. They sent me a note stating that if I wanted my mini poster signed, I would have to include another $10 which of course I already sent him 20 so I sent him the other 10 and he signed it Randy Gratishaw number 53 he was on the borderline making it into the Hall of Fame this year he didn't make it but maybe next year so great player middle linebacker Mr. Randy Gratishaw from the Orange Crush okay getting to the end here I also send out these uh, mini posters I uh, sent one out to Cliff Harris. I received four mini posters. I picked them up at a flea market for $5. It was Phil Sims, Franco Harris, rest in peace, uh, Randy Gratishaw, and this Cliff Johnson. I send this out to Cliff Johnson. Uh, he does not charge a fee. He just signed it for free. Cliff Johnson, number 43, Hall of Fame. And it looked like that thing faded. 21. His pen was dying there. But... Glad to get it back. Mr. Cliff Harris. Hall of Fame safety for the Dallas Cowboys. Then I send this out to Mr. Don Kessinger. I've received Don Kessinger before. But I'm going to send this out to a couple of former Chicago White Sox. I know, uh, uh, what's his name? Carlton Fisk is doing a signing in October in Chicago at a Chicago show. So if I go to the Chicago show, I would love to get... Carlton Fisk on this. So this is Don Kessinger. He inscribed two-time glow glo gold glove. Gold glove. So pretty thank you to Mr. Don Kessinger. Don Kessinger was a gold glove all-star with the Chicago Cubs. And then he would he went over to the Chicago White Sox where he was a player manager for like two years. So thank you, Mr. Don Kessinger. And last but not least, I send out a uh, TTM request. To the great Hall of Famer, Huang Marichal. Huang Marichal does have, a, does have a fee. It's $20 per. So I send him my Tops Living. Huang Marichal. He signed it for 20 bucks, And he signed my Giants uh, placard here. Right there, Huang Marichal for 20 bucks. So now I have Huang Marichal and Orlando Cepeda. So uh, I actually wanted Mr. Marshall to sign here. That's why I added this post-it note. But he decided he wanted to sign there. So all good. So very nice. Thank you to Mr. Huang Marshall. That took a few weeks, maybe like two weeks. So thanks to all these great players, these Hall of Famers that do have a little bit of signing fees. But that was a lot of money for Alan Page, 70 bucks. But he's getting up there in age. So he doesn't do many shows. And he definitely doesn't do TTMs, so I had to pay the price. And uh, But at least it goes to uh, Mr. Alan Page's uh, donation goes to a good cause. goes to children, a children's education fund in Minnesota. So 
thank you guys for joining me and uh, watching this video. Really appreciate you guys. Uh, let me know what you thought. Uh, what you thought about my pickups and my uh, TTM returns. Love hearing what you guys have to say. And uh, that's it for now. I'll probably make a video sometime during the week. Uh, looking, looking forward to going to another flea market this week and seeing what little treasures I can find. So that's it, guys. Thank you for joining me. I'll catch you next time. So take care, everybody. God bless. Peace.